Kalevision TV. What's going on, my people? What it do, what it be? Right here on Kalevision TV, man, I got some material for you. I had, for many, many years, I had this material called the Great Red Dragon, man. For those of you that's doing your due diligence and on your path for the search of truth, researching for truth and researching the research, here's some great material for you to check out. For those that really want to read in the series about this thing, you can go to Google, type in the Great Red Dragon PDF, and it will pull this up for you so you can read it at your leisure. The Great Red Dragon Chapter 1 Ancient Scriptures Ptolemy Philadelphus, 309 to 246 BC, ruler of Egypt, was a learned man. He offered a rich reward for the best religious scrolls and manuscripts for his great library. Impelled by a desire for this reward, wise men of many nations went to Alexandria with their precious writings, and Ptolemy secured some 280,000 scrolls and manuscripts of the most valuable writings in the world. In comparing the various works, Ptolemy made the most startling discovery of the age. To his amazement he found that all systems of religion were the same in basic principles. How could it have been otherwise? All men spring from the same source, they all inhabit the same universe, in which all elements and forces, all suns and stars, all mountains and men, all water and women, are basically the same. Churchward said that inscriptions on stone tablets found all over the world indicate that all the earth was originally colonized by one people, from one source, and that was the lost continent of Mu or Lemuria. Furthermore, the evidence shows that all religious systems are but copies of one original system and vary in different countries only as the customs of the people vary. So all ancient religions, based on this grand cosmic unity, were basic all the same for all nations and for all races, one grand, harmonious system of worship. And Ptolemy had inscribed over the doorway of his chief temple this sentence, experience is the guide of all morality. The evidence shows that this grand unity of religion prevailed in principle through the ages until the 4th century AD. Then there came a shocking change under the leadership of Constantine the Great in his founding of the Roman State Church. Then the fathers of the church went into vigorous action for the success of their newly created institution and for the suppression of all competition. To Alexandria they went and stole what they wanted from Ptolemy's vast library of scrolls and manuscripts. They copied, interpolated, twisted, and distorted these ancient writings for the making of their Bible. To make their work more effective, they personalized the ancient symbols and literalized the ancient allegories. Under their scheming hands, startling changes occurred. The son of the universe became the only begotten so gospel Jesus, Lou. 613. The redemption of man became a blood washing process in which all sorts of criminals and murderers were cleansed of their sins by their belief in a crucified savior, Mark 16 verse 16, Revelation 1 verse 5. To aid in the promotion of the new religion, Constantine issued an edict freeing all criminals and slaves upon condition that they embraced the new religion. This was only the beginning of the atrocious work. For a thousand years the people of Europe were to witness and to suffer the most horrible catastrophe ever recorded in the annals of history. Read the Holy Inquisition and the Bible, Church and God by W. McCarthy. To enforce this newly invented, unscientific and preposterous religion upon the masses of the Roman world required the destruction of ancient literature and ancient history, the burning of manuscripts and libraries, the demolition of ancient temples, the slaughter of more than 70 million P.E.O.P.L.E and the plunging of the Roman Empire into a state of intellectual darkness that lasted more than a thousand years. Then ancient history was rewritten by the church to serve its ends and to hide the facts, and that is the history contained in modern encyclopedias. That worldwide crime could not forever be concealed. Fragments and traces of the grand unity of ancient religion were preserved by inscriptions on stone monuments and temples of all nations, and in symbol and allegory which could be interpreted only by initiates of the ancient mysteries. Oh man, there you have it, man. That was some imperative information for you. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please do subscribe because I'm going to have some more things coming at you all the time. Dig it.